Holy shit! Guess who did another video? Yeah, it's me. I am trying to keep it up, I have no brain and people are around, so I have to use TTS again because, of course, there's noise. And so I cannot record myself talk like I actually wanted to this week, but it is what it is. Also last week I wanted to script my videos and then voice record that but I realized I cannot write a script long enough to fit a usual 10 minute video. Anyway, I've gone on a tangent. So for this week's video, I have decided to go hard mode and do some gesture slash figure drawings. I couldn't come up with what else to do. Didn't want to draw the ice fairy again, I'm so over it. You people who follow me online know my struggle with chasing clout drawing that sucker over and over. Honestly that fad has fallen off. I can't produce this slop any longer. I need to grow as an artist goddammit. I want to keep this video longer for the long video enjoyers. Honestly, I am one of those as well. Anyway, this week you get figure drawings. I sped this up just two times, so you can see me clearly struggle through it, because I have not done figure drawing in, literally, so long. It's been months since my last time. Instead of practicing art I watch pyro cynical slop. Now that's some good slop. You can listen to this TTS named Jane, keep saying the word slop. I hope this girly sounds better than the last, absolute creature, that I used to use as my voice. Holy shit she sucked. I do not want to hear that video ever again, I don't know how any of you got through it. As you can see in sense, I am not good at this, not yet at least. Video editing is actually hard, who knew? I always struggle a bit with picking the right brush, that has enough texture and softness. I guess for such quick drawings that I had to fit into 2 minutes, a softer brush is way better. With a sharp, very dark brush, the lines are way more striking and you can get more focused on the details instead of the figure overall. Just saw some page say that, when it comes to brushes for sketching, to avoid soft edges at all costs, which is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Honestly you should just go with what you feel is best, I am very intuitive with art so I just do what I vibe with. That's why I have so many pencils in real life. Some of them have a harder lead inserted and that usually throws me off. Anyway, when doing figure drawing you have to focus on the overall energy how the body is moving, its silhouette. If you focus too much on the details, like muscles and face features, the figure will turn out stiff, that's why I barely detailed the hands and feet, they take a chunk of the two minutes if not handled correctly. Just keep them as simple shapes and take in mind what angle things are in. The human body is very intricate and covered in stretchy, bendy, folding skin. It's why when models pose for Instagram, they usually do not do poses where the body creates active wrinkles, maybe they even photoshop them out. It's sad that this has to happen but we live in a stinky society where women always have to look pretty, allegedly. I for sure ain't. I look like an eldritch goblin and I am comfortable with my existence. Figure drawing is very beneficial to your overall artistic ability. I actually do not know the specifics so I will look it up on Google for your convenience. Here it is, figure drawing provides a way to become better acquainted with human structure, form, and function. It provides a workshop that helps you to better capture human proportions, muscle anatomy, and other aspects of a believable figure. I agree with this statement, and I am very happy about this information. Well, now you know. If you're a beginning artist, I know it's hard but you have to do some of this. Like some big brain people say, you have to know the rules before you break them. When I was a young Pringle I never did stuff like this, I instead went and copied other artists to the T, while I tried to. That is very slow progress. What did help me was starting to try and practice from photos. When you have that good knowledge developed in your brain, you can start experimenting. Get inspired by other artists, draw like them for a while, until you get tired of it and continue on your own. 
Then you keep developing, adding a bit of figure drawing here and there doesn't hurt to keep up. It's like eating a big healthy salad like once a month. Also, I hope to leave some resources for figure drawing you can use in the description. I suggest you start with 10 minutes time limit if you have never done it before, and when you get more comfortable, to make it less. Then less again. So on. I know how slow and steady beginners are, it takes a long time to do a simple sketch. Because they overthink it and lack line confidence. You need to have less expectations and try not to actively compare and put yourself down. Also, try to use as little lines as possible. I have seen other people suggest starting with the shortest time limit. I guess that is valid, if you are tense, trying to do the drawing fast should loosen you up. You can try that. See what works. We are all different people and what works for me may not work for you. I used to also chicken scratch, which means drawing over the same area with lines over and over. It makes the drawing look very stiff and fluffy. They seem to have tried hatching to make it look like shading but it's so inconsistent and looks very messy. I would totally direct them to figure drawing, maybe not even humans, there are photos of animals you can use too, dogs and cats can be very expressive and active. Some people may not want to draw people. The figure drawing subjects are usually nude models. It is that way to show the full extent of human anatomy and not hide anything crucial. Especially the spine part. In quite a bit of these poses the spine is the main point of movement, like when the entire body bends. In more of gesture drawing practices, artists swoop from the spine to where one of the legs goes on a consistent fast line. I don't even want to get into gesture drawing, my friend would poke fun at me for, apparently, not doing it right, maybe I don't like the way it looks. Here's an example from a Proko video thumbnail. I mean, that's cool people can do that and get a flowy pose but in this way you don't really learn basic proportions and anatomy, but I suppose that's the way of gesture drawing, to get the flow of the pose quickly. I do enjoy the in-between of gesture and figure in art, like you can still see the shapes of the human body but also the movement. That's kind of beautiful actually. There's a video I found on YouTube by a channel called Drawing Life, 3 Tips for Gesture Drawing. I will link it in the description. Those look pretty good. That's art on paper though so keep that in mind if you will look into it. Gesture usually requires more shoulder movement, not just the usual wrist. Using your elbow or shoulder in the process can give you more flow in your sketch, then you usually need a bigger piece of paper and space to draw on, to be less limited. Art is hard and so am I, does this look hard to you? Because it was hard for me. It takes a lot of time to get good and even more to be a master. And with the rise of artificially generated images that look like art, you may get discouraged. Instead of automating backbreaking manual labor, we get these fuckers making the automation make fake art for us, you can use it as a tool though, of course. I am not willing to pay for some stinky automation to make cough art cough for me, but I am willing to go on Pixiv to download other people's willingly uploaded generations. It's not copyrightable anyway. Today I found a bunch of generated backgrounds, which I may possibly use for an original artwork. I am so bad at backgrounds, when Clip Studio Paint was going to introduce AI into the program I was a little excited, you know? 
because that could have helped me with backgrounds and getting new character designs. But then the moral question always lingers if I am hurting other artists by willingly using that stuff. A lot of good artists have gotten their art scraped. If not for them, we would not have such believable, different styles of generated imagery. It's literally stolen. When AI brothers say the AI I did not steal, but quote-unquote, referenced, like a real human artist, that's so stupid. I compare it to Amber Heard saying she didn't punch a man, but hit him. I would laugh so hard right now, but I am but a measly little text speech baby. Whenever I'd have a bit of seconds left from the two minutes of a figure sketch, I would draw my little creature. I love them so much. And man I am so hungry right now, so you can watch the progress continue while I eat an entire elephant. I will meet you at the end.
And there is my little goblin for the final drawing. I hope you got something out of this 20 minute art slot. I sure did. Well, it took me more than 20 minutes, since as I mentioned I sped this up to 2. So all of this took me over 40 minutes. If you made it to here without skipping, I take my hat down and salute you, brave soldier. Art is not easy but you do not have to give up. All it takes is an hour or two of regular and good practice that will benefit you. Just drawing, randomly, anything, by itself, will take you way longer to get good. As a Craftsy.com site quote says, drawing is more like a sport, where the skill is quite slow to develop. Once you have a breakthrough with your practice, your skill level can suddenly increase rapidly. You have to put in time and draw from life, observe things around you, their shapes and colors, and different angles. It's a lot to take in at once so you have to take your time. But do not give up. Find joy in creating, the process and result. Don't compare yourself to someone better, compare your progress today, to what you did a couple months ago. Please, take care. Hang in there friends.